Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you all for zooming in to join <laughs> Catherine and I today at the start of Children's Hospice Week. I was going to start, before I asked all of you to, to share your experiences, by um, describing what I felt like when I first went to visit a children's hospice, Helena Douglas House, as it was then, Helen House. I think it was about 13 years ago. And I have to admit, I was filled with a certain amount of trepidation because I wasn't sure what I was going to find. When I arrived, I was totally uh, amazed by what I found, the feeling of warmth and laughter and happiness. And since then, I've obviously visited Children's Hospice South West and whatever hospice, Children's Hospice I've been to, I've felt that same warmth and, and laughter and um, obviously the nurses and the carers who look after these children are the most wonderful people and they just sort of inspire happiness. It's an uplifting experience isn't it going in which was the opposite to what I thought it was going to be. Obviously I'm a massive fan of the work that the staff do and the fact that you know families are able to live as close to their home environment as they possibly can in what is really difficult circumstances is extraordinary. And it's credit to the staff really that can provide the environment to help them go through, um, whether it's long-term care or short-term care, it's really, yeah, it's really awe inspiring. How is everything at the moment going for you all within, you know, with the pandemic and everything like that? Has it put lots of extra challenges on the service that you provide for your families? Absolutely. It means that we've had to be very agile on our feet in terms of responding to the changing needs of families. Obviously, most of our families are shielding very vulnerable people. How easy is it for other families to connect to each other at the moment and to um, share that same network that they perhaps had before? It's really hard, actually. Um, so normally, if we had a new family, they'd come in and there'd be another family in. Um, and at the moment, they're having to kind of do that almost from a distance. A little boy that died on Saturday, we were able to have his grandparents, um, not in the building, but in the garden, and the weather's been um, good. So it's looking in an ingenious ways of how we can help that to happen. How are you all doing um, as a family, Carla, obviously, and um, Stuart, it hasn't been you know, a huge, huge length of time since you lost um, your son. Up and down days. Mm. Um, if I think we found it extremely hard through this lockdown, not being able to have our family and our friends, um, because it's not the same doing it via call, Zoom call in. How was the support that you received from each at the time? They are just such amazing people. They really are. The care was amazing, not just towards Fraser, making sure he was comfortable, but our well-being was met. We had... Um, a cooked meal provided every day. Stuart and Stewie were able to stay in the flat upstairs while I stayed in Fraser's room with him. Um, the memories we made, we had Father Christmas visit. We also renewed our wedding vows because Fraser had always looked at our wedding pictures and asked where he was in those. Um, and it was our 10th year um, in the July so we decided actually let's do it and renew our vows and if you'd seen the change in the care floor that those staff had done in 48 hours it didn't <laughs> look like a care floor it was amazing yeah. it really was. Children hospices go that extra mile actually and support families like yourselves I think is you know is extraordinary and they like you say they consider the whole family um, as well which is which is really important but I hear well, you've been doing lots of fundraising which has been amazing. Well, I did do 5K every day in May. Who inspired you to, to start running 5K every day? Captain Tom did. Oh, Captain Tom. Captain Tom has done a lot for this country, hasn't he? So <laughs> he's inspired so many people. You must be very fit, Stewie. We'd like to thank everybody who works for hospices across the UK for the incredible job you do and uh, allowing families to treasure their moments together. I think that's so important and um, it's entirely due to all of you that um, it's able to happen. And thank you so much for coming on. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye.